Right now, crews are working to get the traffic lights up and running at a very busy Mandarin intersection. Car jumped a curb early this morning, knocked down a traffic light pole. Driver wasn't hurt, so it happened at the intersection of San Jose and Old St. Augustine Roads. In the last few hours, all lanes reopened. Most had been shut down during the course of the investigation. News for Tech's reporter Ashley Harding has been live on this story all day. So do they hope to have this work done by uh, evening rush? Well, Bruce, right now that remains to be seen. You know, JSO says they could be working on this until at least the mid-afternoon. So, of course, we're just going to have to keep an eye on this and make sure to update our viewers. I'll step out of the way and just show you that just in the last 45 minutes or so, crews were able to install that brand new traffic light pole you see right there and remove the one that was knocked down this morning during that crash. Now, that light, that light pole was being used to support the traffic lights facing northbound lanes of San Jose. And you can see crews had to take those signals down to do this work, so we hope to see those traffic lights up back again soon. Finishing up this project, however, will take some time, and that's why community service officers with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office are on scene directing traffic at Old St. Augustine Road and San Jose northbound. Take a look at this video right here. This is video from earlier showing you that damaged light pole. You can also see how the traffic lights were left dangling above the street after that car took out the light pole. Again, this is very early this morning. And even after traffic was reopened, getting a contractor out here to the scene to begin installing the new pole, that took a few hours as well. As well. Thankfully, that did not impact traffic directly. Now, JSO says the community service officers will be out directing traffic at this intersection until at least mid-afternoon. So whether or not that actually impacts rush hour this evening, well, that remains to be seen. Of course, we'll keep you updated with any new details we do get from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The local station.